again, lovely souls. Today, I thought I would give you a little tour of my desk and the studio space. If you watched my previous studio tour, I talked about how we were about to move. We bought a new house and it's been a little cramped. I haven't got the space fully settled since half the house is actually being remodeled right now. So it's a little awkward with two bookshelves next to each other, just kind of full of stuff. And the other half of this room is my boyfriend's computer setup and stuff. So I'll just be showing you my half and my desk. I'll start out with my first bookshelf, I guess. Up here I've mostly got a lot of cute knickknacks and Pokemon stuff. Adorable things my friends sent me from Japan. Got some random things on this shelf. My little antique gnomes and some old uh, oil paints. I don't actually do oil painting anymore, but they're kind of cute for decoration. And, and here I keep all of my stickers from other artists. So. You can see some Michelle coffee and other stuff in there. In the ghost frame is a picture of me and my siblings dressed up when we were kids, but I didn't think you guys would care to see that. And I've got some work from Audra Claire as well as her book, Fragments, Volume 1. Definitely a good book. shelf I've got some crystals and things, my sage, my recent piece, the Capricorn. I'll be starting Aquarius soon so I'm excited about that. My little Alice in Wonderland tin, it's actually empty right now. And then I have this book you guys may recognize as Tyler Thrasher's some work from Forever Soft Core and some stickers I have in the shop still. The next shelf, I've got some more work from Forever Soft Core, Michelle Coffee, some photographs of me and friends, Danica Stills, and uh, Marika Paz, I think is how you say it. I'll try and put all their tags up on the screen. On the bottom is a piece from Lee, and these are actually Christmas presents I haven't gotten in the mail yet. Up on our next shelf, I've got my record collection. Some different oddities and stuff I've collected or people have given me. This shelf in my big tin. This is actually from Target. Halloween is all of my washi tapes and incense. I know I'm terrible and I don't keep anything organized. <laughs> They're all just kind of thrown in there. I hunt through and I hunt through them when I need them. Some stickers that are available in my shop. Some other little things, some oddities I've made. A memory jar for my kitties. Down here I've got some boxes from Ikea I actually ended up painting over. Um, this one's not super interesting, it's just got like pins and pencils in it. These I actually use for business cards, so 
This one's completely full of business cards. Uh, I'm starting to fill up the other one too. Um, the box in the middle is actually empty right now. I emptied it for some reason. I don't remember and never put anything back in. And then this one is all like stamp carving, my hot glue gun, my tape runner refills and things like that. And the right side of the shelf down here I've got uh, filled sketchbooks, old sketchbooks and stuff. And the middle basket is brand new sketchbooks I haven't used yet. I just bought these I'm excited to use. This one is a field artist 5x5 five five. and the other one is a Paul Rubens. In this basket I have misprints. On the bottom shelf is my printer. I need to buy some more ink for it. On top of that I have a box of nail stuff and in the little cloth basket is camera stuff. Up on the wall over here is a print from Morgan Fay. Her work is absolutely incredible. This is actually a piece I did for Inktober. And in the little uh, metal envelope, I've just got prints I need to frame or things that I mean to hang on the wall. It hasn't quite happened yet. On my little cart. I'll go ahead and take this out. And in the outlet right there, I've got my camera charger. So I've got these little baskets, containers for all my paint brushes, my rulers and tall paint brushes, my pencil case. It's absolutely huge. I love it. A little water cup and these are my watercolor palettes. I recently started this one and decorated it with a bunch of Michelle Coffey stickers. Um, so that's got Daniel Smith's in it and then here is my usual palette I use which is full of the Shinhan Pro watercolors. Down on the second shelf, I've got some dot cards uh, my friend gave me with the Holbein watercolors, my gouache palette, and my fine tech palette. And then I've got a little um, pan I bought from Hydra Color. I actually haven't got to use it yet. On the bottom, I've just got an empty basket for now. I'll show you guys my little window setup. I've got a fake donkey tail up there. I'm terrible at keeping plants alive. And all of my crystals in the window that make it so pretty in here in the afternoon. And then down on my desk, I've got all sorts of little things. I have a framed business card, some candles, and lots of crystals, little oddities I've made, and some family heirlooms. I've got this little book holder. It's got my bullet journal and my sketchbook I'm filling right now in there. The uh, antique butter dish that has all of our words printed out for our random word sketch. I've got a little jar of ink and a little jar of water I use when painting. Some different things, uh, collector's items from Fiendies. A little fan because, well, we live in Florida and it gets really hot in the summer. <laughs> Down here next to my desk, I've got an antique sewing machine that was my grandmother's. And then my easel, which I don't end up using too much anymore. And all the pieces of work I have on my wall. I'll definitely try to name all the artists on the video here. 
and get some closer up looks for you. And then we've got our closet over here. I'm actually not going to show you the closet right now since half the house is being renoed. We, you know, have a bunch of stuff in there along with my frames and paper and canvases and things like that. What I have in my desk, let's start over here. In this drawer, I've just got stencils, my hand brace, different things for watercolor, so Miskit, my coarse sea salt, some different watercolor palettes, some half empty tubes, and a little thing of ink. And then I also have my watercolor base. Down here, it's kind of a random drawer. I've got my spray finishes, some different pigments, uh, my box of business cards, things I got for other random projects. <laughs> And palettes and then my um, gilding stuff is in there as well so my little gilding uh, stuff this camera does not want to focus today and here it's a it's a mess guys I'm sorry I'm not one of those people who has super organized drawers, so it's just like clips and sharpeners, erasers, pins, there's wire tools in there, a lighter, and my wax seal stuff, and brush cleaner. So it's a little bit of everything. Tape, jars, yeah. And in this drawer, I've got all my acrylics and stuff, my varnish, so I've got some different tubes, glue, tacky glue, some apple barrel paints for cheaper craft stuff, some of the Lumiere paints, um, some handmade modern, and then just some wall and stuff like that. A little bit of everything. I also don't really use acrylics that often, so. And in this one, I've got a bunch of different stuff, some tiny tubes of acrylic wash, some pan pastels, an antique thing of crowns, some Sharpie markers, these Charvin water soluble pastels, my uh, Shinhan Professionals, Prismacolor pencils, and the Derwent Color Softs, and in the Macaron box I've got my Micron pens. And then in the cigar box I took out is actually all Sharpies that I don't really use, but they're there. So that is what I've got in my desk for now, guys. It's still a bit of a mess here, but once we get things organized a little more, I'm sure I'll do another one of these tours that isn't as awkward. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching guys, I hope to see you next week.